Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this great little marvelous metallic pumpkin here for the focal point of my card. Let me set this aside and we'll get started. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of our gold foil cardstock and our cotton white stays on ink pad. We're using the stays on because um, stays on is designed for slick surfaces so that it dries easily and isn't absorbed by the cardstock like our classic ink. I'm going to stamp and I'm going to be very careful not to slide on the the cardstock because the gold foil is very slick and it's easy to wiggle and move around. Now that I've got the image stamped, I'm going to set that aside to dry. Okay, I'm ready to color on my pumpkin now that it's dry and I am going to start with the darkest old olive blendability. I am simply going to add color and as I'm doing this you'll notice that the color itself kind of has a very streaky look to it and a lot of texture and that's okay that's how this works on this particular technique it isn't supposed to fill in and glide like it normally would on a project where you're using your blend abilities and as you're doing this you might notice that there's a little bit of white that is showing up on your blendability tip it's okay don't worry about it I have done quite a few of these and have not found that that creates any problem for when I use my blend abilities in the normal fashion on a regular project with our Whisper White cardstock. So I'm adding the medium tone now and now finally the lightest pumpkin pie. Quick and easy, you're doing light strokes. That, te that texture is a great thing. It kind of adds to the feel of this project and the shimmer. So there we go, a little bit over on this side. And now I'm ready to um, cut it out using the coordinating framelit. You do want to make sure your pumpkin is dry with the blend abilities. It does take a little time. And then you're going to want to take your magnetic platform, place your pumpkin on there, add your coordinating fun fall framelit, line it up, and add the final cutting pad and run it through your big shot. When you run it through your Big Shot, you'll end up with a little pumpkin like this, and I'm hoping you can see the marvelous metallic look of this project. And um, the little outline is something that doesn't bother me, but if it does you, you could use your paper snips. So let me show you the project again here with our marvelous metallic pumpkin as the focal point. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7, and you can get there from my blog, www.stampwithjenny.com. Thanks for joining me.